It's no secret that David Chow's coffees are in demand. Each morning, he makes up to 50 beverages for staff at Junior Correctional Centre, and it's a role he relishes. It just feels like a, a normal job. It doesn't feel like I'm in jail anymore. So when, when they come, especially when it's busy, it, it, it feels good. David completed a barista course through TAFE and his dedication to his craft didn't go unnoticed, having been named Student of the Year at the centre. I feel honoured actually because um, I didn't think I would get it and it, just, it was out of the blue. More than 60% of the inmate population at Juni currently partakes in vocational education programs. Monday to Friday, inmates can study a variety of courses including hospitality, engineering, building and construction. We do not only vocational education and stuff, but we do general education, interview skills, all that sort of stuff. So when they leave, they've got the bits and pieces that they need to go and get a job when they get out. It's seen as an important element in ensuring inmates don't re-offend upon release. If we can um, go a long way with helping these guys get the skills that's, at, that's going to get them employment, uh, they then go back in and become contributing members of the community. It prepares me for going back into society, so you know, when you get back outside, if you've done nothing in jail, then, then you'll probably go back into your old ways. Upon his release in a few months' time, David hopes to find work as a full-time barista. I'll be looking for a job as a barista outside, yeah. So hopefully that goes well. Smara Gardner, Win News.